Well, good morning, folks. Richard Jean here. I tell you what, it is cool this morning. We're having some front some more, and um, as y'all can see, it's real, real foggy this morning. Went through about two rain showers, but I'm ready to fish. Today, we're going to be doing some shiner fishing once again, looking for the big fish, looking for some females. Uh, Y'all stay with me. That's all I can say. Straight to it. Let's go fishing. Can y'all see that balloon? It's trucking. I didn't even have time. I pulled up here and didn't have time to even turn my camera on, folks. And we got a bass on here. Let's see what we can do with him. Oh, my goodness. This is a lot better fish right here than what I've been catching today. A lot better fish. Or he just mean one. <laughs> oh, man. A lot better fish. There's a little grass lane right here. And if it wasn't for my sunglasses I have on, I couldn't see it. But that fish is barely hooked. Let's get him. I thought he was bigger than that when I stuck him. But that's a good one. That's a little bit better. So... Maybe we found a little area right here that's got some fish. That's about a two and three quarter. Probably might be heavier than that. They're thick this year. Let's let him go. Man, this is a seven foot cadence rod, CR7, medium heavy with a fast tip. And I have it loaded with 20 pound test braid power pro braid and i'm using for a liter trialene 25 pound test fluorocarbon line with a three out hook now i may change this hook to a four out because i've got i don't have many shiners folks but i've got some big ones in here a three out to take care of a shiner uh six seven inches long but i've got some in here that's 10 11 inches long so i believe i'm gonna need a bigger hook and i have it fastened right here with a double uni knot and my reel is a cadence um i get confused on my reels a little bit cs10 okay that's what we're doing and just an eagle claw hook bait holder hooks what i'm using right now so let's get us a balloon. Now, I wasn't kidding y'all, these are dollar store balloons. I'm gonna put a white one on. It's real overcast, or it is right now. Was fitting rain a while ago. And blow it up to about like that. About the size of a silver dollar. Put a knot in it. Now, a lot of y'all that's been following this channel knows why I do this. I do this so I can keep shad or shiners in good shape. There's little resistance, if any, when you're fishing this way. It, it'll just keep you bait in good shape. It's an old Florida trick that I learned when I lived in Florida. No telling how old this is. It's older than I am. That's saying something. But I'll just tie one knot, pull it down to my double uni knot, and that's it. So let's hook us up a shiner. And uh, we're in five feet of water right now. Let me find a small one for this three-out hook. And there's one about seven inches long. And I've got some jumbos in there, and I'm going to fish with them, too. Big bait, big bass, normally. But that shiner is capable of catching one, six, seven pound, no doubt. Let's make us another pitch out here. But I'm just letting that shiner do his thing. If he starts coming to the boat, I'll get away from him. I don't want to be real close. Big fish are hard to catch. They're getting smart in these lakes. There, there he is. Boy, he snatched it under. 
I mean, just snatched it. I'm going to let him have it just a little bit. Uh, there's some fish right here. There he is. Oh, this is a lot better fish right here. This is the kind I like to catch him bigger right here. This is a good one. There we go. That's what we're talking about, ain't it, folks? My, 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 my. We got some fish set up on the edge of this stuff. It's just a little grassland is all it is. Look at there, what a fish. Ain't that healthy. Now, that's a good one. Let's take a look at this fish right here. See how dark he is? For this lake, that's a real dark fish. That's because he's been in that vegetation for a while. That's the kind I like to catch, but today there's been a lot. I've caught a bunch of little ones, folks. I've been all over big fish, but sometimes they just won't bite. Maybe they're fixing to the bite. But uh, healthy bass, let's catch another. There's some around bigger than that, though, I guarantee you. He ain't no doubt my mind. Boy, that's a healthy fish, folks. Fat. Going back, gal. All right. Whoa. Dead, blame, darned. Whoa. 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 Huh. Oh, there's a fish on there. Let's see. Yeah. Boy, that was a weird strike this morning. That fish is maybe a small one. I don't know, folks. Let's go ahead and stick him. Maybe a big one. No, I don't think he's big. He ain't bad, though. <clears throat> ain't bad at all. Fool me. They'll fool me sometimes. Good way to break the ice, though, this morning. It's really a pretty good fish right here. Now, I caught that fish. I, <laughs> I started off in seven feet of water right here. There's a little bend right here in this little ditch, you might say. I caught that one right on the edge of a little creek right here. And what I done is I started in about seven feet of water and I eased up on this flat real slow with that shiner. And that fish come right off of the brake line. He come up and got that shiner this morning. That's a nice one. It is foggy. I can't go anywhere this morning. So I'm just going to focus right in here and see if I can repeat that. Beautiful fish, ain't it? Woo. <laughs> That's all I know to say. Woo. Let's let him go. Quit, quit, quit. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm still on my four foot flat right here. If y'all can see, that's four feet of water. Now, they could be some fish on this flat right here. There's some scattered grass as you can see if you can see there's some coots right up above me and uh right here is seven feet of water just right in here this little little creek turns about like that and it makes an outside bend so that's how i caught that fish all right what i have right here as far as the hook is a four alt octopus hook made by Gamma Katsu. Now I'm just going to take this shiner and hook him right in the nose. Oh, quit, quit. Like that. Now I'm using 25 pound test trilene, 100% fluorocarbon, double uni knot, and this leader's around two feet long. My 
yeah, my connection's a, a double uni knot. Excuse me, folks. This is a 20 pound test braid with a balloon, and that's all they are. Power Pro braid, my favorite braid. And this is an old rod here. This is a halo rod. It's seven feet long. I don't even know if they make them anymore. Probably not. But this is an Ambassador 5500S. And I like this reel because you can do you can fish with it for catfish. It has a clicker feature on it. And I'll show you. Let's push that down. And that down. Look here. You can fish for catfish with that. So it's a universal reel. That's why I bought it. Now, let's look and I'll show you what I'm fishing right here and how important it is during pre-spawn. Okay. There's nine feet of water. Okay. And I'm going to just cast that, lob that shiner out. I don't want to kill him. That's the thing about live bait fishing. That, wow, my goodness, what a carp. Huh. You don't want to cast these shiners. No more than you have to. Sometimes you have to. You'll kill them. And that balloon right there is nothing but a plus. Dollar store balloon. It'll keep that shiner in good shape. It'll keep him active. It won't tire him out. And I like to use that balloon with shad too, live shad. And I'm not trying to be cheap about it. I mean, they're just dollar store balloons. You can get about 50 for a dollar. It's just better than most floats when it comes to live bait fishing. Now that's just my opinion, folks. Okay. Let's look at the depth finder right here. We started off in what, nine feet? Right here at six feet. And that's where I get got that bite, around six feet. And as you can see, there's some scattered millful on the bottom. Matter of fact, that's probably a big old carp right there. And so, I've got that shiner a distance from the boat, so I'm not going to spook any fish that's in this area if I come across another one. That's what I'm doing right here. And then I'm just going to let that shiner do his thing. Now, they could be another good fish right there. I don't know. They could be one a lot bigger. Today, we're fishing for the better fish. Oh, I'm shaking up boats coming by right here and I think we got yeah we got one on here I thought that was that shiner just lugging let's see what we got folks right here there we go feels like a pretty decent fish oh I tell you what they're biting funny today that shiner, it looked like that balloon, it was just lugging, lugging, lugging. I thought that shiner was running from some tonsils, but, well, there's a pretty good one. He's fat, though. Quit. Come here, boy. What are you doing? What are you doing? Ooh, I'm going to get my pliers on him. Oh, yeah. Didn't hurt him a bit. Pretty good fish. Still, it ain't Mama Sue. I want y'all to look what a big old turtle right there. Now, that is a big one. Turtle man. If he was here, he'd catch him. Whoa. Whoa. Watch it. There he goes, folks. I was just about to move, too. That's a decent size shiner there. Probably about seven and a half inches long. Eight. Let's let him have it just a little bit longer. 
Awful big shiner. Y'all ready to stick him? Let's find him first. There he is. Oh, my, 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 my. Now, there's a good one. That's a good one. He's a good one because he bit. Yep. Look at there, what a fish. That is a fat, fat, healthy fish right here. Got boats going in and out right here. Look here, here's one $100,000 bass boat. And right here at the boat round, right here, there's a Nitro Z8 Cadillac Rollo. And look here. <laughs> oh me come on in here boy the only thing I know to do right now folks is um, catch another one that's all I know let's let him go good fish good fish good fish okay there we go go on back whoa Whoa. Okay. It's coming to me. I cannot tell. Feels like a decent fish. Yeah. Decent. About a three pounder probably. Come on in here. Look at there. They here at the boat round. Okay. Right there's the boat round. Ain't that something? Let's let her go. Go on back. Oh my goodness. I tell you what. Whoa, doggone it. You don't think I'm... Whoa, whoa. All right, folks, I'm back. That was a good day of bass fishing. One of my favorite techniques uh, to catch bigger fish. And, uh, although I love using artificials, I love to use live bait too. Now, in the springtime, I've had a question or two about which is the best, Richard, in your opinion. And I'm glad that question was asked that way because everything on this channel is opinion. Which is better, shad or shiners in the springtime? Well, I favor uh, shiners 10 to 1. Because this time of the year, most of the better fish are already on bed. I spotted some beds in around two feet of water, didn't mess with them. The fish that I caught today are about to go on bed. The biggest fish, as far as largemouth bass is concerned, goes first. So, shiners are a mortal enemy of bass. They love to eat their eggs. So they'll hit them twice as quick as they will a shad, in my opinion. But both will work, no doubt. I want to thank y'all for everything y'all have done. All the great comments. Hey, keep one foot, your left foot, or the right one in front of the next one. Don't worry about anything. Uh, every day is special, and live it thoroughly as you can. And, hey, whoa, whoa. And remember, go on fishing when you can, because it is good for you.